Srimati Aparajita Sarangi ji. It is indeed a privilege for me as I stand in this August house to speak in favor of Juvenile Justice, Care and Protection Bill 2021. I'm reminded of the wonderful words of Nelson Mandela. He had said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. Samaj apne bachon ke prati kis tarah ka vyabhar karta hai? Isse us samaj ki atma ki prakriti jhalakti hai. Juvenile Justice, Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 came into existence with effect from 15th of January 2016 by repealing the JJ Act 2000 with comprehensive provisions for two categories of children. First category, children in conflict with law. Second category, children in need of care and protection. Sir, we are aware of the fact that the JJ Act has been formulated in pursuance of the Constitution of India, which mandates equal rights for children and calls upon all the state governments to take appropriate measures for ensuring care, protection, safety, and security of children. Sir, if we go by the bill that has been placed before all of us today, we would find that this particular bill focuses on three major heads, which has been very clearly told to us by our Honorable Minister of Women and Child Development. Number one, definition of serious offenses. Number two, adoption. And number three, functioning of child welfare committees. I offer my heartfelt compliments to Honorable Prime Minister Modi, Minister of Women and Child Development Department and her team for responding sensitively to the needs on the ground which had emerged during the course of implementation of the JJ Act 2015. I want to say to you, उनकी सकारात्मक सोच के लिए मैं आंतरिकता के साथ उनको धन्यवाद देना चाहती हूं जमीन पर जो जरूरतें हैं उन जरूरतों का अनुसंधान करना और फिर एक एक शब्द को पढ़कर सही पदक्षेप के लिए प्रस्ताव इस सदन में लाना काबिले तारीफ है